Me too. Let's and here we are. What is today? August 24th. August 24th, 2009. 2012, the continued journey to the top of North Peak. To go where no Cocapelli has ever gone before. Yes, except for one, except but it was one. so long ago he wasn't a Cocapelli. All right, cut. There's another one hiding behind the van. Look at that. My <laughs> gosh. Everybody run! You have to learn the Cocapelli... Whatever that is. I'm getting out of here. Chew through our tent. My tonight. gosh, look. Watch this. Do you think that's a Cocapelli chipmunk? Whoa! <laughs> He's a look rock hound. Look at that. He's a rock hound. He's a flesh eater. Watch out. He's a rock hound. Go eat Jim's leg. <laughs> hey, Jim. Go climb up Jim's Say something. Leg. Are you sure? Pull, are you pulling my leg? <laughs> I was thinking that, well, when did we go through the gate? I just don't remember the going through the gate. Which gates? The gates of the pearly heaven. The pearly gates? The pearly gates, yes. I think your Alzheimer's is being aggravated, aggravated by the low Here, oxygen content. Let me see if I get some water on there. Oh. Hydrate, Rob. Hydrate. 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 Mm. Tracy water. You mean there's just a trace of it? Just a trace of water. And here we have <clears throat> a tent city being set up at the Saddlebag Lake campground with the mountains rising above us laughing at us daring us to climb them. We went down to Levining. We went to the Mono Cone. We had homemade hamburgers and fair shakes. So that's, that's the tent part, isn't it? Yes. I tried to put the tent in the trade there. Chipmunks are going to chaw uh, or going to gnaw on my. Which is as good an excuse as any. Mm -hmm. So, Rob, what did we do after we ate? Did we go to the upside down house? We went up to the upside down house, went to the, the school. Yes, we went to school. and talked to the old man. That talk who knows him. who? Yule. Cared? Yeah, he actually has met Yule. Yeah, he was the guy in Yule's documentary. We didn't even get his name. To brush with fame. Yes. I think we need to go back down there and get his and autograph. Then from where, where did we go after that? After that we went to the Mono Lake Visitor Center. Visitor Center. Yeah. And talk with rangers. <clears throat> it was fun. We got to see a 3D map. Yes. So and I'm we'll be right back. Right in your front door here. here. Oh, he's got the camera. All right, what did you say now? Will, we need a compass. We need to know which way is up and which way is down. Well, up is that way. Isn't that what a compass tells up you? Up is that way, down is that way. So oh, we know. We the, know. We forgot the gravity compass. We have okay, a gravity does, compass. Does anybody have a little needle? We can make, oh, we can magnify the needle, you know. <laughs> there you mag go. Magnetize the needle. Put just in like a, we've seen those guys do on TV. And then you put in a little a water string. dish. Put on a water. Let's do that. <laughs> To know which way is up and down? Or you got to know which way, where is the sun setting? All and right. here we are, Saddlebag Lake Campground, and we're looking right up. Well, we can't see it here. We're going to have to get in the trees. You have to get in the shade. And you put these trip hazards right by your tent to scare people away. And there it is. We're looking up the lake. <clears throat> Better the lake than something else. So we're looking up there. So All right. you have to get either in the shade or the sun. There's North Peak. There's no way we can see North Peak. It's hidden by this mountain here, which is over here somewhere. They don't list it. But it Kness, says Kness, Kness is straight that way. It must be that one right there. See right up there? All right. Here. Before morning number one. 
the bears were out last night beating on the bear boxes disturbing the residences and last night if I was thinking I would have got the camera out because up there we saw people coming down with lights and and I'm not kidding <laughs> they descended over some period of time and it looked like there were four lights and Rich got out his telescope and confirmed that there was and the temperature is 42 well it's already raised a degree it was 42 actually 41.9 earlier dun 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 and now here we are we got the camp broke down <clears throat> we're back down Saddleback Lake Resort looks like they're open we're gonna have a little breakfast and uh, head up around that big knob right there and get up on North Peak <clears throat> Do you have any words of wisdom before we begin this meal? Amen. <laughs> We're gonna find those guys that are walking. Sheldon, get the camera over. Sheldon! Sheldon! <clears throat> oh, not another learning experience. I suffer from CRS, can't remember shit. And there's an example of the low water at the dam we found out from the guy at the little museum in uh, Lee Vining yesterday what happened was uh, apparently uh, they l let the water low so they could refinish the the face of the dam expecting the snow runoff to be sufficient to refill the reservoir and because it was a low snow or small snow year last year this is what happened. There wasn't enough snow runoff to fill saddlebag and now it's ultra low. It's the ball in the Wawa. Wawa. That's a wooden dam up there. Damn. Hey Rich. Hey. Jim. We missed the boat. Wait. Go stand video. Oh, I've got you. Yes. <laughs> what should I do now? Uh, nothing. I'm going to pan somewhere else. Oh. Yeah, do that at the top of the mountain. We'll see how it works. He's wore out already. <laughs> yeah. He's dragging butt. <laughs> <laughs> when you finish... They're waiting for us to die. <laughs> I think they're glad we just had breakfast. You're kidding! Which way? That way. And Paul, go that way just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Alright. Ready? Don't move. Move. Alright, this is the practice one. That's a moment. We'll get this right sooner or later. Okay. Say that again. So here we are. We just finished a photo session looking forward to making it to the top.
future is so bright I need sunglasses. I can't even see the screen. This yeah. is a better spot to take a picture. No way. <laughs> we could do it in the field over there. Jim, so this is a path we've never taken before. You have. And so we turned off to the left. Greenstone Lake. Greenstone Lake, that's where we camped last year. This is our trail that we did two years ago. No, one year, 360 three, two, days. three days ago. And so now, this is the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the yellow brick road. Jimmy, look at me. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had number three on the menu, the Greenstone Special. This is Greenstone Lake. Named after this. Now, how was it? It was terrible. The best part was the toast. The bacon? The bacon tasted like Greenstone. Greenstone. Now we know why it's called Greenstone. Wait. Well, we basically crossed a little, or I did a little footbridge across the water, and it's looking like the Kness Lakes are up to the upper level where that waterfall's coming from. Up there. What's that? Is we finally got to the trail on the right side of the waterfall. To the ice falls of North Peak. Yes. We will have to climb the ice fall. And we can see that there's actually a trail that goes up there according there to riches and bones. In there are bones at the base of the fall. Interpretation of the topo map. So we're probably going to be going up there as Rich was pointing out and then across the waterfall and the Kness, three Kness lakes apparently are up there. So I came up uh, along the water. There's a couple of guys that came up the steep side, so hit the water and they start going up the water. So uh, I decided to go up the water too. And uh, you now we're up in the Kness Lakes bowl. There's I think it might be the peak up there. So down there to the right is the bowl of North Peak where we were last year and that's that ridge way over there that we came up. This is the <coughs> south ridge that precludes you from coming up from the bowl. That's really steep on the other side and rich and Rob and Paul should be coming up that way pretty soon. I think I'll be going up that way. Going up there. And it looks like Rob and Rich and Paul are somewhere along that ridge. I don't know. Well, I guess that's down there considered one of the lakes. And then there's another rise and I think the other two are up here. <clears throat> so the topo map is what I did. I came on the south side of that lower Kness Lake. And I just came right up, straight up here. There was unclear whether there was trails or not. And then there was trails with ducks and stuff, but 
no matter how you sliced it, it sure was steep. I don't know if those guys already got here and they're already going up the rest of the way or they're still back there. I don't know. I think I might just head on up. I've hooped and hollered. I don't hear anything. Those other guys, they must have come up from down there. There they are. Uh, down next to the copper oxidized, green oxidized copper glacial lake. And they're on their way up. So I'll meet them up here. <coughs> well, I'm up on this perch. And uh, those guys are coming up. And uh, we got a ways to go yet. I don't know if you can see down to the bottom behind me, but uh, those two other guys have already gone up in front of me there. So I'm going to go up a little bit further and <clears throat> keep eye shot of the Cocapelli brothers and we'll make it. And there's Kness and it's Glacier. On to and it flows around there into there. I think we need to somehow, I think it's that ridge up there. I think the trail is right here and it goes up. Holy crap, this is steep. Freaking human being up there. Whew. I just rose up over that edge. The crest showing something else over there. Unbelievable. So there's the bowl where we camped two years ago. <clears throat> there's that ridge that separates the bowl from the way we came up. And uh, this looks like it right here, but Still quite a bit to go. Oh, there it is. The top.
tip top. And that's where I emerged. I haven't seen the Coca Valley Brothers yet. And there's the famous jar. end up. I see the Coca-Pelli brothers. They just emerged. Why is this out of focus? There they are. Are those those two guys that are in front of me? They must have come up the short slope. Well, Coca Pelli brothers, piece of cake. Tell me how you got up here. I have no idea. <laughs> Just kept walking. No trail. <laughs> What'd you do with Paul? We don't want to put that on tape. Okay. Did you? Did you? You know, give. All right. I put down Coca Pelle Brothers Cubed. Cubed, there you go. AKA system. Did you spell Coca Pelle right? <laughs> <laughs> Rob, where's the Grand Canyon of the Tuolumne? Is that it? Down that direction. Oh, Rob. Half dome, half dome. Oh, sorry, buddy. Coca Pelle cubed. What about him? You're gonna have to say plus buddy. three plus one. Three plus one. There you go. How that? Okay. What does it say? I got the front. I got the front inside. First, eight twenty-four. Kevin. Uh, there's the couple that was up here. Yeah. Now, Luke, Luke and Izzy. Luke and Bach, Texas. And the Coca Pelle Brothers Cube Plus One with Cisco. Now, there's the box. Anything else we want to write in here? Not that I can think of right now. <laughs> Should we say second? One year, 360. One year, 363 days. That's the first try. Sure. Come on, dude, wave your arms. Yeah, he should, yeah, he stood up. <laughs> Freaky man. Yeah, that's a high five.
We did it. We made it back. That was the most important part. 10.82 miles. As far as I'm Total concerned. Total time, 7 hours and 18 minutes. Moving time, 5 hours. I can turn this off. <laughs> no skin to knees, no skin to hands. We made it back alive. Let's see your feet. The agony of defeat. Cheers. Look at those feet. Cheers. Cheer, cheers. That's an old car. Let's drive on now. Here we are, day number two, Saturday. We made it. Went up to Stan's mom and dad's yesterday after he picked me up at the airport and had a Eileen cooked a fantastic home cooked meal. <laughs> we would hook the cameras up to the television and watched about a thousand uh, pictures, a lot of video. Had a lot of fun. It was up late, probably midnight before we left, maybe 11.30. <clears throat> then came back here to Stan's place. Had a good night's sleep. And uh, right now it's uh, Saturday morning. We got about a little over an inch of rain from this uh, remnants of Hurricane Isaac. And uh, it's still rolling through a little bit. We're going to head to get out to get some breakfast. Don't know where yet. It could be Washburn, could be Roaring River State Park. And uh, right today is supposed to be 84, I think. And uh, feels like Missouri. We'll be right back. Oh, we gotta look at this rain gauge. Look at that. 1.1. There it is. Time for breakfast. All right, we're on our way. Highway 37. Highway 37. South. South of uh, the point halfway between Washburn and uh, Cassville, where Stan's place is. What's the name of your road? Uh, <coughs> Farm Road 2212. Farm Road 2212. <laughs> and uh, they've had a drought <coughs> yep. this uh, summer. So and it rained yesterday. Even this looks green by California standards. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. It's misleading. Yeah. It's dry. But got a little over an inch out of this, as we just saw. So that helps a lot. Or a little. And we'll be right back. There's Washburn sign. <laughs> Population 450 some odd. 448. 448? Yeah. Junction Highway 90. Uh-huh. Fire Department. <laughs> What's that? Washburn Fire Department. The Washburn Fire Department. 
And up here on the corner, this used to be a gas station, but now it's Boyd Stogdall's Music Store. Crazy Mule. And there's the old Dairy Queen over there. <laughs> Worsburg Bank. Yep. Church. And then the, the, old, the old school burned down. And did they rebuild? Where's the site of the old school? Just over this bump yeah, here, right? right that, yeah. Isn't that where the cop used to live at Norman? Yeah. yeah. And then of course this is where we went to high school and that's what replaced the eight room brick schoolhouse that <laughs> after it got burned down by that kid. <laughs> Here's the mall. <laughs> that's the same one yeah, that we had, I think. And we'll be right back. Now we're crossing the famous Washburn Railroad tracks. <laughs> Driven over these many a day. <laughs> there's the cafe. And there's the... The, uh... Carose Cafe. The feed trough. <laughs> Carose Country Cafe. Son of a gun. Now Ed Banks lives back up in here somewhere? Well, uh... Well, is the restaurant open? Yeah. We yeah. should just go ahead and eat. Huh? Yeah, we'll go ahead and eat. Uh, There's the post office. Yeah, this is a post office now. Oh. <coughs> Here's City Hall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kids playing. Dogs barking. Churches praying. <laughs> and we'll be right back. I don't know. I've never been in there. The flea market. an old gas station. Yeah, grocery store, you know, gas station. Car in cars up here. Oh yeah, somewhere around here. We yeah. just passed the fire tower, UU, what do they call it, UU Highway? Or UU Road? Stan? What do you call it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the fire tower, is it UU Road or UU Highway? Uh, UU County Road. UU County is. Road. Yeah. So we're Going down Highway 90, and we're headed. Uh, Here's where you exchange vehicles here, kind of. Yeah, this is where I did the famous crawl out of the back window of one car into another. I think it was back then. In the middle of the night, somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this Hendrix's house? No, this uh, isn't it. I don't know. Yeah, no, this is not it. Lives here anymore. But anyway, we're heading down to Trent Creek, and we just had breakfast at the. Uh, feedlot there <laughs> and uh, got examples of uh, the flagstone that's a flagstone church right yeah Mission Baptist Church Mission Baptist Church and uh, we'll be right back and here we go we got Wayne Hendricks for commissioner he's the guy that's organizing the Trent Creek gathering on uh, Monday Labor Day looking forward to that Okay, this is Leonard Hendricks' house, I remember. Leonard and Stephen Rose, you know, they were the buddies. And we'll be right back. Okay, now this, what is this here, Stan? In in. This is in in. Remember when this used to be a store? Yep. What is it now? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. This is in in highway. Went around this corner many times. This used to be a store. It's called Steve's Trading Post now, but of course it's all boarded up come around the corner and up here I'll show you where I ran Michelle's 68 black Volkswagen off the road into the ditch coming up we'll be right back and here it is I think this is the corner that I took too fast and overcorrected and ended up in the ditch there used to be a ditch on this side of the road probably right in here and uh, I remember it uh, broke her uh, shifting plate we had to go to Joplin, Missouri to get another one for the Volkswagen. So this is Johnny Hendrick's house, huh? Where Wayne grew up. Yeah, I think this is where Wayne grew up. Yep, see the Hendrick sign? Yep. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's ringing a bell for me. They used to haul hay with Johnny Hendrick's in his truck 
Larry, Lizard and Gizzard. Say it again, Stan. Uh, we're getting ready to go down Jake Day Hill. This is the famous hill that we used to ride our motorcycles down standing up on the seats. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then it was uh, Larry Hendricks, you know, ran off and totaled his car out one time. Wow. I can't remember the person that used to live there. Uh -huh. I can't remember his name. We always picked him up on the school bus. Here's the downhill sign. Yeah, now there was a little uh, rest stop picnic yeah, table. I don't know where that went either. Here's the hill sign. You gotta keep a film rolling for Jig Day Hill for <laughs> sure. This is uh, sort of the rite of passage to Trent Creek. This is the Trent Creek passageway opening. Yeah. Go over. There's a driveway there. Entering McDonald County, as a matter of fact. That's, yep. uh, where we cross into McDonald County from Berry County. Yep. Here's Jake Day Hill. And we're going to be dropping down into uh, Pine Creek, or I mean uh, Trent Creek Valley. Valley. There it is. And it has this nice sharp turn <laughs> for cars to drive off of. <laughs> They're going too fast at night. Right here. There it is. <laughs> Wow, now our English teacher used to live up there, remember that? I think so, was, yeah. Was it up there that she lived? I don't know. This is Sizemore. See, there's some scars of an old tornado that sat down here about four years ago. The tree, you mean? Yeah, yeah. They had a little tornado that sat down. You see the scars? Yeah, wow. And uh, it really did a lot of damage in here, but yeah, it's grew up now. Trent Creek. <laughs> Wow, is there anything in it? <laughs> Not this year. Wow. It's so dry. So this is Trent Creek Valley. Oh, what's that? Didn't Charlie Smith used to live up in that hall? Uh, yeah, I yeah. so. Remember Charles Smith? Biker. Noakes is just over this dip here. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep. This is Memory City here. This is Noakes' school. Here. This is where Debbie and Tammy Noakes used to live. Right here's the milk barn. What was the name of their mom and dad? Frida. Frida and Dave. Dave and Frida. Yep. Noakes's. There's our old place back there. Yep. Stan's place back behind those trees over there. And in Ozzie and Maxine. Ozzie and Maxine's house. Old house. Is your bridge still there? I think it is, Jim. Can't see it from the trees though. You want to walk up to that cave? Or you want to go down? There, there's your bridge at. Yeah, probably better not. You think they'll shoot at yeah, us? Yeah, we could. Yeah, it's, it's a different world than it was 20 years ago. Right. But up to the right up there in that bluff, there's a cave we used to crawl in. <clears throat> yeah, if I remember right, there's a good sign up there. Here's your old place. No, it's it's on down a bit. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. In the, yeah. I don't remember that place. Yeah, that, that was on Cracker Neck Road. Wow, damn I remember that one. Damn car. Yeah, here it is, right here. Let's stop. Let's stop here. Okay, let's see we There's the old house. Boy, nobody. It's just gone. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, the whole place. The store's been torn down. No, not that one. That's it's Raymond's Fish and Tackle Store. Okay, we got to get out and get some footage of this. We'll be right back. This is the hauler that Oni's cow used to be up. <laughs> and look at Raymond's shop. This is, was his flagstone shop. My God, it's been demolished. And then across the road, there it is, the house we lived in while we built our house a mile up the road. And then there's the chicken house that uh, John used to stay in. Oh my God, 
Well, actually, I think that chicken house used to come up to right there. Looks like they might have tore some of the foundation down. Oh man, Let's talk about memories. Unbelievable memories. And of course, there's Oni and Raymond's log house. You know, you don't know if anybody lives there anymore or not. There's a dish on the roof. And up the road, down the road there, that's where our house was. And then there's Raymond's store. And there's Stan, waiting patiently for me to finish filming. Beautiful country, but all the people have gone. Another view. There's the famous back kitchen and the famous shade tree where I pulled an engine. There's the back kitchen door. Of course, they put that little lean to on there. Just totally, totally remarkable how things have changed. It's for sale. <clears throat> wow. Jim Sellers. Uh, give him a call. 113 acres, Dan. 113? Yeah. That's what the sign says. Wow. There's you, uh, you need to uh, bring some of that money back here and uh, rebuy it. <laughs> there you go. I wonder how much they want for it. <laughs> and we'll be right back. And there's the other chicken houses. That wasn't there. That probably wasn't that big barn there. And the low, uh, Stogdall's Low Water Bridge is right up here. Yeah, and I don't think it's here anymore. I think it's gone. You mean the driveway and everything? Yeah, I think it's all been kind of redone. If there's oh some old... Oh my gosh. See, it's just gone. It's just gone. Huh. sale here, Jim. Jim Sellers. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this Dogbills? Yeah, this one's here. It's rebuilt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's Pretty a nice, nice looking place. Yeah, nice road up through there, Real too. Real nice looking place. Oh, look at that pasture. Yep. Oh, some bottom land there. Yep. Good hay, hay land. Uh-huh. Now, Norma Patterson's place is coming up. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, think we'll be able to stop by our old place? Well, I don't know, Jim. I mean, you can't, well, you can't, but I'd sure Ooh, ask them, you know. Oh, yeah. I would, yeah. Well, would there's think. Norma's place. Yeah. There's Norma's place. Okay. And there's all the, the creek. creek's dried up. Oh, yeah. I used to ride my motorcycle. I mean, we can call in, but I think you better ask them. Oh, well, I, I'm not going to go up to the top. Yeah, I don't I'm know. just I'm talking about filming it from down here. Well, I'd film it right here. I'll slow down. Yeah, because, because there's no place to pull over. No, there isn't. Look at the trees, how they're grown up. And up you there. really can't see anything. Oh, there's the house. Yep. It's just so grown up, you can't see. It, anything. This is where Nelman Eugene's dam was. It's all grown over. There's no mini Jean's house. Look at the trash. Oh my god. Isn't that something? Okay, there's a truck coming behind us, Jim. Okay. You get it? Look, yeah, got it. At least you got some. Oh yeah. Okay. 
here comes the truck. Wow. Just Got a little bit of it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and here's where Peyton Hall, Peyton and Minnie. Yeah, he'd always sit out here in the porch. Yep. Peyton and Minnie Hall. Of course, no, that was Harley. Peyton, Harley. Har Peyton uh, lived down here. I believe it was, yeah. Here's all this nice bottom land here. Yeah, that ain't for sale. No. A lot of hay always on that, usually. Uh huh. Here's that quarter mile run. Yeah. Didn't you come over this when you're yep. your Impala? Yep. yep. T bone someone? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Somebody pulled right out in front of me. Yeah. Somebody lived here. Who was this? Oh, I can't remember. Seems like I don't know. We talked Peyton or Harley. Yeah. Um, hard to remember. We'll pull over and let this truck by. Up at Roller Church House, Sugar Creek. That's the turn off to Powell, isn't it? Yes. Here's Trent Creek Bridge again. Yep. And there's Roller Church House where yep. you used to play, play your guitar. Music. Play music. Here's Sugar Creek on the right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't have him behind us now. He turned off, huh? Yeah. And roller There's cemetery. There's the old roller schoolhouse we used to play music. Where are you, where are you doing? Oh, I thought you were going to pull in and we could get some video of Sugar Creek. There's the roller cemetery. That's kept up pretty nice. Really? Now, this is where uh, Raymond Cattern used to live. Yep. Boy, it's really nice. They kept that up, huh? Yeah, he doesn't live there now, but I mean. Not Didn't Don there. and Beth move down there? No. Yeah, they, didn't they live in that house down there? Uh, I don't believe so. Back, was it how many years ago? I was Not there? that I know of, anyway. Yeah, I was thinking I don't they know. lived down there. I don't know who lives there. And then Danny's is uh, on Ed, the left. Yeah, it Banks lives up here now. Not, Not this here. driveway, no? Yeah, the next, yeah this, this one? is the new road the oh. state had to make because they, they oh. widened the bridge. Oh, I see. See, this is his old drive here. Oh. That's his place back there. And his grandkids live there or something? I believe so, yeah. It banks his old place. Back in there. It used to be one lane, but they they lightened it. Yeah. And then the, the turnoff up here is for okay. the uh, Kobe, Dude. Kobe Dude Ranch. There's yeah, Big I, Sugar Creek. That's a, uh, it's not even Kobe Dude now, I don't even yeah. know what it is. Yeah, private property. Yeah, it's all private. They'll shoot you if you go up there now, probably. Yeah. Well, you got the it's fence all gated. closed. Yeah. And then this is, you go to Pea Ridge this way. Yes. And up there is Pine Creek Hill. Yep. This is the way we went to Pea Ridge. And we used to go to Blue Bend right here. Yeah, uh, I never went this route. I always went in front of Danny's really? house. Really? Yeah. We always used we always turned in here a lot. Went down there. Of course, you can't. No creek access. See, they put signs up and everything. Oh wow! Now. Private property. Now. Yeah, they new owners came in there and they won't let you go down there now and all that. So, mm. see, Blue Bend was kind of down in here somewhere. Yep. Down in there. I don't know. It probably right in there somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Here we are, back from, what's this one called again? KK. KK Highway. We're hanging a left, going up Pine Creek Hill. You remember when I fell over on the motorcycle and uh, had a, a bottle crush in my hand and split my hand open? Yep, yep, I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what happens when you, you're mischievous. This is where we used to kill copperheads. Yeah, yeah, skid on them. There was a lot of them down in here. Yeah. Along that creek. Yeah. Pretty little holler. <laughs> I think down in here.
deer we used to run across a lot of copperheads. I hit a deer one morning in my Mustang. Did right, you? yeah. But it's only going about 35 miles an hour because I always, you know, babied the engine when it was cold. And a deer popped up out of this ditch on the left. It was dark, just jumped right out. It was a doe, we hit her, knocked her over. And as I jumped out of the car, you know, I hit her while I was applying the brake. So it was a, I wasn't, a, you know, going at regular velocity. And I was already going slow to begin with. And I jumped out. As I got out of the car, she stood up and hobbled off into the darkness. And uh, when I got off work, I was working in Rogers and Wentz on a Shunamit. When I got to work that morning, I looked at my front bumper and had deer hair all over it. <laughs> and my, my front left fender was buckled. And uh, so when I got off work that day, you know, I stopped down at the bottom of the hill there, this hill. Is this the main hill? Yeah, this is the, yeah. This is going up. And, uh, you know, I looked uh, out in the fields wondering if maybe, you know, she could have died or something. And I didn't see anything, so hopefully the little deer was okay. Yeah. Copperhead Road, pretty much. <laughs> right back. We're not getting close to Sim's store, are we? Oh, we're a little ways from it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this place is well taken care of. Yeah, there's a lot of new structures here. I mean, not new, but a lot of, a lot of added structures. On the yeah, I think it was this hill where I skittered on that one copperhead and you try to get off the road. Yeah, this is a little rise here. Back there behind us but sunk its fangs into my tire and dripped venom down the side. Oh yeah, this was always sort of like a park setting through here. I mean, the way the trees are all laid out. There's a storage facility there. Huh. Nichols. Junction E. Nichols? Nichols. That's who used to own the same store. Oh, okay. This is, is it called Sims Station? Yep. Yeah. Sims Country Store. Still there. Yeah, I don't know if it's in business now. Look at that. I don't think it is. It don't look like there's any business here now. Closed up. It's closed. It sure is. See that well house right there? So it's for sale. Remember the sulfur water they had in there? Yeah. Remember how the, the water was real sulfury? Mm. I sure didn't know that Sam store was closed down. Yeah. Here the uh, used to be the fire tower, the other fire tower. They took it down too. Huh? I'm sure we'll see a scar on the walls. Okay, it's right up here. I think right in here. Yeah, there's yep. the pedestals. Fire department. Yeah, there's the pedestals. There's the concrete footings, pedestals. Yeah, yeah. We used to be on. Yeah. Right there. There they are. We used to climb up there and look around. Jane, Missouri. Wow. <laughs> You got the uh, the conifer like pine trees up here. Yep, a lot of pines right here. Yeah. We're still watching the remnants of Tropical Depression Isaac. That's going to be working its way up to the north and off to the east. And let's show you this in future cast. I think it's just around 4 3 in this afternoon. 
Chris Isaac now doing past me. You can start to see that motion still yep. transitioning up to the north. So if you're going to be flying through Chicago, you might have a few delays what? in there. Also, notice the amount of afternoon thunderstorms you're going to be seeing throughout lots in the southeast, as well as through some mountain spots here on the west coast. And then as we get into Saturday, it looks like a very similar pattern, maybe a few showers during the afternoon hours across the country. But then as we get into Sunday and into Monday, it looks like everything's going to calm down just a little bit. We'll continue to have some cloud cover at least over parts of the country, but for the most part, dry as long as you're away from Earl. Now, Powell, Missouri. We just looked up uh, Big Rock. Couldn't find it. This is where DeWitts used to live. That's the shortcut back to Trent Creek. Way back in there. Yeah. And here's the single lane bridge. There's a farmer getting on his tractor behind us on the road. Is that right? You mean coming up behind us? And this is Big Sugar Creek. I think it is. It runs in with Mike's Creek down there probably. Powell, Missouri, just down the hill from Jane. Rain from going down the coast and ship yep. out in the mouth. Uh huh. So here we are back in uh, Trent Creek. Now, who lives, used to live up there? I don't know. I thought there was a family that lived up there. I don't there. know who used to live up there. Coming up on Harley Hall's place. You know, Whitmer's 80 acres was up there. Yeah. I'll drive as slow as I can here, Jim, so you can take more here. This sort of place is on the left. Harley and Minnie's. This was Harley's barn across the street. You live pretty close to Harley. And we were just right up there. I used to walk those rocks. occasion. Can't see it for the trees, but that's that's the house. Boy, it looks like it's really run down, isn't it? Yeah. Bad. You get it? And then Whitmer's. Can you pull that? Oh, look at that old guy. Wow. He's going to start shooting at us. Wow. Creek in the meadow. Norma Patterson coming up on the left. There's Norma's. Stogdall's house. And they got the road up the holler, it looks pretty good too. That's a shop, isn't it? For sale. I don't know who that place was. Here's Stogdall's low water bridge, which is really low water now. It's that's lower than it's lower than low. <laughs> that's where the creek rounded the bend from Oney and Raymond's. Yeah. Used to be some pretty good bass in there, I think. Huh. Yeah, it's all right up. And of course here's Oney and Raymond's place. You know, there's the houses we raised the chickens. You know the it looks like the big you know the big barn is still there. That was a general store though, wasn't it? Up uh, over here? Right yeah, that was Raymond's. It used to be a gas station, a store and a gas station. And then Raymond, you know, couldn't, uh, didn't want to manage it anymore, so he started selling fish and tackle mm -hmm. out of that Ford van. Remember the Ford van yep. he used to drive around? Yep. There's our hills. And there's the Schultz Hills. Many a day up there, getting hurt, <laughs> injured, oh, yeah. and having a blast. There's a turkey. See that turkeys? Right yeah, there? yeah. Big turkey, and people sitting there. Wow. Hope they don't come after us. 
can if you see a clearing, yeah, there's your pole barn. Yeah, it's a bad area to stop. Yeah. There we go. And there's some of the cattle that we still weren't able to get in. There's that hill I wiped down right there. I see Yeah. There's a car behind. No? Up there was two. Well, it looked like one. And this was Aussies, right? Yeah. And there's the bridge down there, but you really can't tell. No, can't see anything. Trent Creek Valley. Straight ahead, Jake Day Hill, and we're running out of tape. The bluffs on the left here. Yep. And we'll be right back on another tape, probably. And there it is, Jake Day Hill. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Jake Day Hill from the other direction. <laughs> Not from the top looking down, from the bottom looking up. <laughs> See if we can see Larry's car off in the trees. <laughs> there it is. 